Ever crapped in a can and sold it for cash money? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Anything at all can be art if it is presented as art. And when people become convinced that something is art, they will sometimes pay bonkers amounts of money for them. The question is, how good are you at guessing what they paid for these eccentric art items? Great. It's time for you smart enough to guess the price of this art stuff? Link Neal, come on down. Woo! You are the only contestant on most expensive art. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Uh, I like expensive stuff. Hey, good. So I like to look at it, but not buy it. Uh, we also have the help of Stevie. This is up oh, there. This is there leather is. edition, Stevie. Yes. Slick back. Uh, biker, biker. So slick amazing. back leather edition, Stevie. <laughs> Okay, Link, uh, you know how this works. I'm going to describe something to you. I'm gonna give you two choices for the price that it might yeah, be. Yeah, they will appear here. Yeah, and then the correct answer will be revealed. If you get four out of seven correct, you win either $1 or what is in the mystery box. And I'll usually choose the wrong answer, but not on yes. purpose. Yeah. <laughs> Every struggling artist is striving for more visibility, except for the ones at the Museum of Non-Visible Art, created by husband and wife team Praxis. <laughs> No, 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 yep. no, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. You, you can't, you can't, uh, whatever. Where okay. the art stays in the artist's mind. How much did their piece, Fresh Air, which comprised of just a description, sell for in 2011? <laughs> Is it $800 or $10,000? For a sign that says Fresh Air that refers to something that you're buying that doesn't exist. Well, if you want to see it like that, maybe. Is it in a con container? Uh, it just says it's just, hey man, it's, no it's freaking, fresh air. You know what, I'm Team bet. Team Praxis. This is so ludicrous. What are you guessing? $10,000. You're right, Link! Yes! But that's, yes! that is offensive! Somebody bought that for $10,000. But here, listen to the description. Are you kidding me? This work is like having an endless tank of oxygen. No matter where you are, you always have the ability to take a breath of the most delicious, clean-smelling air that the Earth can produce. This artwork is something to carry with you, because wherever you are, you can imagine yourself getting the most beautiful taste of air that is from the mountaintops, fields, or the ocean side. It is an endless supply. Or... Wherever you are in your breathing. It's Hold not on. even in a container. I thought this was dumb until I read that description, and I'm in on this. Next time, Praxis, next time you, you're selling fresh air, I must have. Give me a call. I bet Praxis is a couple that has one Facebook account, too. <laughs> you know? <laughs> we share a Facebook account. Our name is Praxis. Ever think your dookie was so special you could can it and sell it? <laughs> Italian artist Piore Manzoni did his 1961 work, Mi D'artista consisted of 90 tin cans filled with 30 grams each of his poop. The record price for a single can was reached in 2016 when it sold at auction for how much? No! Cans of poop, Link! It's Artist art. poop. One can how much sold one for can? A, a record amount of... What's that? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Is that, a, is that pounds? That's a euro, man! Oh, euro. I knew that. 275,000 euros or 275 euros. <laughs> you'd think you'd be making it easy for me. <laughs> uh, this is a too, too, too much for number two. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna say Euro 275. All right, you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> are you freaking kidding Someone me? Someone bought it for 275,000 euros, which is almost 300,000, <laughs> no, no. Almost 300,000 dollars. Now listen. I got a business proposition. It involves you and me, a bunch of empty cans, and a I'll lot of fiber. I'll, <laughs> hey, I'll squat over a can. Hey, man, th th this could be the only thing that we do. Every day, it. it's just like, line them up, line them up, line them up. We'd become Good billionaires. Ain't. Yeah, we'd have a lot of free time, too. I poop a lot, man. I'm a big <laughs> man. I'm like a horse. <laughs> You'd have to be constantly eating. Which I love to do. Yeah, <laughs> we can do it. Oh, oh I gave you one. <laughs> that was weird. I changed it to one at the last you second. You shouldn't throw your trash in the street. Not because of the environment, because you're wasting an opportunity to sell it as art, stupid. Artist Justin Gignac <laughs> sells boxes of authentic hand-picked and arranged New York City garbage on his website for how much? Is it $50 or $5,000? So a hand-picked 
box of New York City garbage. Well, even at fifty dollars a pop, I mean, he's he's making money. This is a viable business. Okay. But he's an artist. He's not a businessman. Right. Yeah. Five thousand dollars. All right. Yeah. yeah. Wrong! He's more reasonable. Okay, he's And good. after those first two, I hear $50 for a box of garbage. I'm like, I'm in. Give me that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, he said the price high and Gotta I'm buy low. something. Garbage of New York City. Uh, he, he's a really cool guy. You should go to. You should go check him out in some of his other projects. What's his website? Uh, I'm not going to give you the website. We'll put it in the description. But seriously, that artist, he's cool. Just you should cool. go there, but I'm not going to tell you how to get there. You now have a great excuse for not cleaning your room. It's Art AF. <laughs> At least, <laughs> Tracy Emmons' 1998 piece, My Bed, is, it consists of an unmade bed, stained bed sheets, period stained underwear, and other everyday objects. Yeah. How much did the bed sell for at Christie's Auction House? This is not your wife's auction house. This is Christie with an what? IE. What's that? That's a lira? <laughs> That's also a euro. It's a different symbol. That's a, a, That's a pound. pound. That's a pound. That's a pound. Knew that. That's a pound. So you didn't know either. Uh, I was like, yeah, that's the, million, uh, that's the other. Two e. million or twenty-two million for a bed with some trash thrown around. Two point five million or twenty-two point five. Gosh, million. It, there's no way that no one has that. <laughs> no one has that much money for, for art. Two point five four six point. You are right. Link twenty-two million would be unreasonable for a dirty bed, <laughs> but two point five million is a bargain. <laughs> and for an extra one hundred k, the artist's mom will yell at you that company is coming over, and she doesn't care that they're not going to be in your room. You need to pick up after yourself. Hmm. I'm so depressed right now. <laughs> well, it keeps going. Andy Warhol is known for his provocative pop art. Also I heard of him. Provocative P art. Oxidation painting is a series of copper metallic pigment paintings that Warhol urinated on and then let oxidize. How much did one of his P paintings sell for at Christie's auction house? Christie is getting a lot of business. <laughs> you should you should get in on that. You could be like Praxis. So he peed on s s copper and it rusted. Yeah. I think this but is it is cool. Andy Warhol's pee. I, and I think this is actually legitimate. One point cool. nine million dollars. You're right, Link. You're on a roll. I mean, the dude can paint soup cans and screen print. And Marilyn Monroe, he can pee. Hey, I got a business proposition. <laughs> <laughs> it involves you, me, some empty canvases, and a lot of water. <laughs> that, that's good, uh, man. Uh, well, now yeah. we've doubled our output. <laughs> if Warhol's pee makes you want to vomit, do it on a canvas. Millie Brown does. Her live vomit art consists of brown drinking colored milks and vomiting them back up on a canvas. How much did Millie Brown puke painting sell for at showstudio.com? <laughs> Was it $2,400 or $4,200? Huh. I've seen her doing this on video. I don't know why I was seeing it. <laughs> mm, this is tough. Mm. As a, it's a performance piece, so I don't know about owning it. I'm going for $2,400. I want to see it being made, but I don't want to have it in my house. You're right, Link! Yes. And that technically means that you got four right, so now we're just doing this one for giggles. Yeah, I get a dollar at a mystery box. Yeah. Put the mystery box up here, just because I know I earned it, because I want that mystery box. Right there, kids. A picture is worth a thousand words, but a picture of a word might be worth more. <laughs> Christopher Wool began his word series of paintings in 1980, and the most expensive one to ever sell at auction is the not exactly untitled Untitled Riot. How much did it sell for at Sotheby's Auction House? Sotheby's. 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 Is it 2.9 million or 29.9 Just million? four letters on a canvas. Four letters on a canvas, Link. How on earth could that even be three million? <laughs> well, it's... Hey, There's even gaps in the special. letters. This is Christopher Wool we're he talking didn't, about. He didn't even connect the letters. I think that was intentional. Man, my brain's been checked out of this a long time ago. <laughs> 30 million. <laughs> All right, let's see. You're right, Link! <laughs> what? You're an art genius! That's crazy! Now, Link, $30 million for four letters? That's at least. Say, Don't six, do the math. Six million it's too hard. Look at this. Look what I got commissioned. <laughs> I hope you didn't pay a lot for that. Now, Link. Now, How much did you pay for that? Um, we made it here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. But we could sell it for quite a bit. Now, I'm going to keep it. That's not your prize. <laughs> but this is? Your prize is either $1 or what's in the mystery what's box. What's in the mystery box? It's fresh air. <laughs> <laughs> Millions of dollars worth. I talked to Praxis and they said they could make as many as I needed. 
It smells like box, this man. Is, but it smells like a mountaintop box, doesn't it? <laughs> Take that with you. You can have it anywhere at any time. Hmm. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. I'm Jessica. I'm Brianna. And I'm Caitlin. And we're at the Paint Art Center in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. And now it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. We poured all our thoughts and feelings into a podcast and let it oxidize. It's called Ear Biscuits. It's available at youtube.com slash thisismythical. And the audio version is available wherever podcasts are enjoyed. Click through to Good Mythical More, where we are going to do cookie dough sculptures that will then be baked. It's an experiment of art. Take and make. Take a still from this episode and make us bodybuilders building bodies. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag take and make. Post it. We will repost our faves. <laughs> Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And make sure to check out our new channel, This is Mythical, by clicking the video at the bottom. Thanks for being your mythical best.